You know, it's one thing to get all the go-fast parts you need, but it's a whole nother ball game when it comes down to the ECU and the tuning. I'm joined by David Page from Fast, and first of all, tell me what Fast is. Well, Fuel Air Spark Technology, uh, we develop and build and manufacture electronic fuel injection systems. And we make everything related to fuel injection, from the fuel pumps, throttle bodies, hardware, software, wiring harnesses, and ECUs. And now you guys are showing here at the show a little bit about what you could do to help those carburetor guys switch over into the fuel injection market, right? Absolutely. Uh, what we're the most proud of is the unit that we're getting ready to release. Uh, it's already out there and, and we've displayed it at the shows this year, but it's the Easy EFI 2.0. The Easy EFI, the original unit, was extremely successful and that product was developed from a desire to help carburetor users have their first introduction to EFI to eliminate some of the fear and the misunderstanding about EFI and to make them more comfortable with it. And we succeeded with that. We took that product's first couple of years and we took the feedback we got from customers, what they wanted, what they liked, what they didn't like, uh, new ideas, new technology that we came up with and integrated into the new system. All right, well I want to know some of the components of this system here, so if you can, just give me a rundown of what the guys are going to get in the package. Sure. The, uh, the basis of it is a throttle body, which is the piece that replaces the carburetor uh, instead of traditional carburetor technology. It's got electronic fuel injectors mounted inside the unit in a really attractive package that it really is actually an enhancement to the looks of the engine, uh, as well as the performance benefits. All the sensors needed except for the oxygen sensor are integrated into this one piece, so it makes a real simple, clean installation. Um, it's got the throttle position sensor, the air temperature sensor, the manifold pressure sensor, as well as the idle air control valve. And that's one of the benefits of EFI, is you have the means to control the idle under different conditions, whereas with a carburetor, you're basically relying on your right foot. Yeah. And these guys also have a simple way to mount, I mean, this the actual ECU is pretty small, and they can put that pretty much anywhere. It sure is. It's really compact, and it's a weatherproof unit, so it can be mounted under the hood, can also be mounted under the dash out of sight. It's just up to the user. And they have a nice display that they can use to be able to look at any of the information that they're logging there or to also be able to kind of tune and change things. It is one of our best new innovations with the 2.0 is the color touchscreen handheld unit. It's really small and compact. It's about the size of a smartphone. It uses the mount for most common GPSs, so there's a lot of options for where you mount it in the car. And because it displays live engine data, some customers may want to leave it permanently mounted in the car so they can view their engine data, pretty much like a gauge package. Right, so I mean this is actually something that could replace some of the parts and pieces in their vehicle. They don't have to have a huge gauge cluster. I mean they can actually look at their air fuel ratio and like what else is it that they can kind of see on there? They can look at uh, obviously engine RPM, air fuel ratio, coolant temperature, air temperature, manifold pressure, battery voltage. That's pretty much covers everything you'd want to know about your engine. Cool. Well you know what? This is called the Easy 2.0, and it says self-tuning on there. Will you just explain to me a little bit about what that means? Well, uh, most of the hard work and sweat that went into making this unit successful was done behind the scenes refining our self-tuning strategy. Uh, it's a closely guarded group of secrets. <laughs> and what it does is it basically takes the reading from the O2 sensor, and it builds a map for the customer's particular application while they drive. So as they drive their car in different uh, conditions, be it idle, cruise, or wide open throttle, it's continually refining and building a map. And there was a lot of technology that went into making that work effectively. In other words, easier said than done. And that's why we're so proud of how successful and how well the system works. Sounds like you're not getting the recipe from this guy on how to get this sucker to work. But if you want to get a hold of them, you guys, they're going to be available in January. You have to go to fuelairspark.com.